Welcome to Block 20 Report coverage of the Blockchain Expo Global here in London. I'm here, I'm your host Coda, and I'm here with Karim Babay, Chairman and CEO of Health Sapiens. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So it seems that this project has a tremendous potential to make a real difference in society, that, which is why it was selected on the top 10 in this conference. Can you please tell the viewers what is this project about? It, well, the project has started um, in the US five years ago, where we saw the needs for patients to seek care directly from doctors 24 7 because the alternative was either an emergency room, which is costly, an urgent care, which is not effective, or it takes them at least two to three weeks to see their primary care doctors. So we started this product to involve doctors and patients without the middleman. And now we would like to take this concept to the global uh, level in, in order for us to provide and limited access to doctors 24 7 to patients from around the world using blockchain technology. So what specific problems uh, is this project going to solve? The problem will solve four major problems that are currently engobbling healthcare. Lack of access to care. Okay, so we see that in many countries health system is a big issue, not only the United States but many countries around the world. So what was the motivation behind all this project? Let me give you an example. Let me take a step back and talk about various healthcare systems. There's 200 countries from around the world. Only 40 are either organized or have enough money to have an organized healthcare system. The rest of the country is out of pocket and there's no system that organizes how providers of care interact with patients. So the motivation for us is to transcend all boundaries and allow patients and doctors from around the world to interact with no geographic limitation that has been sent by any central authority. Okay, and do you think, how is the response of the people about this new system? Because many people are not very used to the new technologies and not to see the doctor face to face. So how do you think is going to be the response for many people? As a matter of fact, uh, the, the, the new platform, it allows you the option to either see a doctor uh, online or go and visit them. So as a matter of fact, it provides you with a choice. So if you are busy and you would like to have a minor consultations over the phone or via a video, you can have it. But if you need uh, a more in-depth consultation from a doctor, you can see them in person. Our platform allows you to do both. Okay, yeah, great. So uh, we have seen many technological developments, uh, in, especially in medi with the medicine. And we have seen that many people are working hard to make virtual surgeries and the doctors can re um, do uh, surgeries from distance. Do you think this is something that is going towards that direction? As a matter of fact, we do believe that perhaps there are some procedures, maybe not invasive, that could be done using technology. But we really do believe that it complements the traditional way of doing medicine as well. So we're not gonna replace, if you need a surgery, we highly recommend and we offer doctors on our platform that you can actually seek out to seek and compare various procedures from around the world to have at least an educated, not guess, but information about the cost of the procedure and the, and the outcome of such a procedure. Yeah, it is definitely a revolutionary way of, of changing uh, the way of people, how is how they're uh, using health system nowadays. Um, do you have, will, will uh, Health Sapiens have a reputation system in order for users to rate their experience with, Scott, with uh, doctors? This is actually one of our differentiating factors, is the reputation system that we are implementing that does not exist in any healthcare system. Let me give you an example. The way healthcare is delivered right now is fee for service. You go and see a doctor, you pay the doctor and you leave. There's no accountability. The system that we're implementing using our token is you go and seek a doctor, you, the doctor gets paid partial, the rest of the money gets escrowed. If you would like to contest the consultation and seek a second opinion, other doctors review based on outcome, which is objective. If the outcome is verified, then the, the rest of the money gets released to the existing doctors. If the outcome gets denied, then you get your money back. That's going to be registered on the blockchain that will enable you as a patient to seek doctors with specific rating systems so you better inform about the quality of care before you consume it. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Uh, it, was, it was really interesting to understand this project and share with the people. Is there anything else that you want to share with the viewers at this time? Well, we want you to uh, learn more about our project. Um, 
go to our website at www.healthsapiens.io and follow us on Telegram for the latest updates. All right, Karin, thank you so much for being on the show. It was really interesting to share all this information with the viewers. I'm your agent, Cody, here at the Blockchain Expo Global. This is reporting for the Central Media. Thanks for watching.